Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm James. <coughs> wow. <sighs> May need to do that again. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I am James and we have something that we normally don't get here, at least at the beginning of a series. And that is a perfectly functional instrument. This is an Epiphone USA style uh, body. I don't know if there's a, a proper name uh, for this model, but it is obviously in the shape of Marka. And the owner of this wants it a different color. So, normally this would be fairly straightforward. Take the hardware off and you paint it. But we have to mask off this dirty mother. And uh, that's going to be somewhat of a challenge because as you can see, especially up here in the Great Lakes, you no fun. So anyways, let's take the hardware off of this thing and uh, get it ready for uh, thinking about how we're going to paint this. Look at that, right out of the box. Nice. Hey, this will probably sound a lot better now that I got my microphone plugged in. We've stripped all the hardware off of this, We've taken all the controls out, and uh, the last thing we have to do is we've got to get these bushings out. And I have, um, you can buy a really expensive bushing puller. I use a, uh, I use a piece of cork, uh, I use a socket, and I use a bolt. Um, and it works like a charm. If you, if you want to spend big money on one of these, knock yourself out. Um, there's no need to. There are companies out there that sell big expensive bushing pullers like this and um, they're just they're just making it fancy it comes out super clean didn't cost me anything um, what happens if I come up with a different size you get a different size bolt this is just these are just laying around they're the little fine pitch threads I don't know, maybe if I dig around I can find the uh, I can find what that is I 
The neighbor's getting new gutters. I'm a little bit jealous. Only because I know that when I get new gutters, it's probably because I'm going to put them on. And so, with very little fuss, uh, we've removed the saddle and bridge bushings out of this guitar. And now we're pretty much ready. Well, we're ready for a decision to be made. Because um, currently, the instructions were I would like this red, white, and blue. Okay, we can do that. One of the things we did was we got onto the website for the standards for the American flag and we found out what the RGB color values are for that. They're a lot different than what you think they would be. Um, the red is a lot redder. The blue is a lot bluer than I would have thought. Um, so the first thing we have to decide is, is that how, is that how we want it? Do we want it the red, white, and blue of the official flag? If you were to go out and buy a flag that conforms to um, the standards set forth in uh, the U.S. flag code. Or do you uh, want to change that a little bit? So that's the first decision that they need to make. Second decision that they need to make is um, how they want it split up. Do they want it split up evenly? Because if you measure from here to here, which is where the high spot is, and you split that into even thirds, the first third goes approximately here, and the second third goes approximately here. I, I don't know if that's right. It doesn't matter to me if it's right. It doesn't matter me matter to me if that's if they want it equal or if they want it to be visually different. Uh, you know, we just have to wait and and, and find out what they what they want to do. Because so, then we'll just we're just going to take a roughing sanding pass on the top of this um, just to give it a little tooth so that our our paint can bite into it, um, and then we spray it. I mean, it's Easy peasy, but the decisions have to be made first. So anyways, there you are, one fairly naked Epiphone glued in neck uh, USA guitar, ready for decisions. So check back next time, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be doing something. Maybe, I have an idea how I can do this. I have a couple of ideas how I can do this. One of them is fairly conventional and a giant pain in the ass. And another one is really not conventional at all, um, but it may suit us because of this complex shape. We'll just we'll have to figure that out. Uh, anyways, you guys have a good weekend. Cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.